I'm live, apparently. Uh, one second. Okay, where do we get to? Uh, residue processing. Cool. Loading very slowly. Okay. Oh no, ah! Okay. Sorry, I just got sent something important to read. Ooh. Doesn't normally happen. Okay. I always panic at that bit because I hate the idea of being squashed by those big things. An unstoppable force. I am unfortunately not an immovable object. Not yet, anyway. Whee! Ooh, security camera. If anyone was manning it, they would have seen my prowess. Wait a minute. On the wrong side. Oh, I am. That's annoying. Oh. That was significant. Not like many people can come off uh, even handed in a fight with a garbage compactor. Drink, I need one. Oh, hi! Yee. Sorry, I was too busy not focusing on my chat. I have my crowbar back. Hmm. Now, whenever I see something like that, it always reminds me of the Tiny Toons. Uh, who was it? Was it Plucky? Plucky Duck? Something go... Oh, I didn't die. Cool. Something go down the hall. There we go. Sploosh. That's a... That's a big old shiny turd up that one. Where am I going? Having now been to Arizona once, I can appreciate how oppressive this atmosphere can be. Uh, didn't come across those though. Glad of that. What? 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 Oh, you little bastard. Come here. Got you. Okay. Cool. Oh, he had a pipe. He could have bashed in so many things.
the uh, <laughs> the bad thing about playing video games like this is whenever you see a some sort of treatment plant or rusty building it makes you want to crawl around it and look for special items. The special items you find in real places like this will not be good for your health. Come on. No! Oh, my legs. Well, that isn't this is so sporadic. Sometimes they'll work when you don't even want them to, and other times it's like they're not even there. There's a wheel somewhere, I'm pretty sure. Help me, Spoo. Ooh, that went a long way. There must be something I'm missing. There used to be a big old wheel on the bottom of that one. No. Oh, balls. That's where it gets drained. Where we had to run up and jump down before you got far enough down that you would really hurt yourself when you fell. It would make sense to have the controls at the top if it was a real building. Alright, let's try going back up again. Maybe I was too excited. to swim I might witness me drowning very shortly oh it is down there all right cool that seems like a very bad idea to have a water drain at the bottom of the water having no external control but there we go mysterious box. I don't think you would put an electric box in a pipe that was potentially full of water. I'm not an electrician or a plumber, but they just seem... Oh no! Seems like a bad idea. Have it. Okay. Well, this is true. They, uh... They didn't anticipate Gordon Freeman. Nobody expects the Gordon Freeman. Especially not when he's absorbing way too much radiation. That's a little bad. Oh. I'm gonna social distance myself away from it. Okay, very good. All right, you're all burnt out now. Hmm. Room full of fire. Oh. Now, last time I did this. Oh, good. Last time I did that, the fire got worse. Not really what you want. It's not what I wanted anyway. Some people would like it. Oh. Let's crowbar it. I tend to run through these parts quite quickly because, in a weird way, 
even though you're meant to shoot things in video games, they can feel kind of lonely in a weird way, just to wander through. There was one video game that a friend of mine played with me on PC, and even though it wasn't meant to be, it was one of the most desolate games I've ever played. It wasn't uh, it wasn't Shadow of the Colossus or anything like that. It was a some sort of fantasy uh, smash em up game. Oh, you missed. Yeah, some kind of fantasy smash em up game, and it was just something about it was just so bleak. Even though there were enemies ar around very unsettling. Turok 2 could be a little bit, and it wasn't dark-sided, it was much older than that, it was like an old PC game, it still had very few polygons and stuff. Um, what was I thinking? Um, yeah, very, very bleak, very odd sensation wandering around and finding very little there. Turok, that's it. Turok 2 could be a little bit like that. Um, especially when you had the fog of war very close because it couldn't render very far. Turok 2 was cool though. The Turok Rage Wars was fun because you could play as a Velociraptors in multiplayer. I enjoyed <gasps> No! Oh, that was close. Yeah, Rage Wars. That was fun multiplayer stuff. I miss LAN multiplayer in a big way. I really, really like it. I want to... I would love to do more of that sometime. Have a proper uh, Halo LAN party or something. Halo 3 LAN party. Yeah, that was that was the business. Some of the most fun I've ever had at a friend's house is when we had four, I think, four Xboxes together. We each brought our own TV, linked them all together via a router, and just had a blast. I really want to do that. I want that kind of atmosphere again. I don't really get that as much with online shooters. And I miss it. That's probably why I don't play competitively. And it's not just in the sense of, oh, I was better than a lot of my friends were. Is that where I was before? Why am I here? It wasn't even really that good. It was just fun. It was the energy of it. You know. And if you always got too heated, you just, you know, you just go out for pizza or something afterwards and everything was okay. Uh, hmm. Oh, let's try going down here and seeing what happens. Boop. Boop. It's not where I've been before. Ooh. Confined space. Nope. Nope. Oh, scared me for a second. Oh no! Power Compressed air, what's it say? Air can, XL. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, this seems like a perfectly reasonable thing to do. Ah! Okay. Second. <laughs> I do not think that's magical transformation juice. I will transform. Well, no, it is in a way. In a, I will transform into dead. That's it. That's the only transformation it will give me. Uh. Ah! Let's go for it. Okay. Cool. We're set. We're good. Here a zombie. They're probably down in here. Yeah, there you are. 
bla bla bla. Okay. Oh no! Oh goodness. All right. Have it your way. Bastard. I wish I had the athleticism of an MIT scientist. Hmm. Okay, ladder down. Or door. I can unlock that. I invariably need to retrace my steps because I will have failed. Sadly, it will not transform Orion into a wereboy, as much as I would like that. Happily take some magical TF juice, but it's not on the cards currently. Soon, though. Not TF juice as such. Little pills. We like them much. Ooh. Yeah, I think that I know a lot of people who would go for something like that. Can I shoot you? No, okay. Well, have fun. That is not a doggo. Don't pet it. You will regret it. Oh, it might be TF juice time. Oh no, it is. Ah, let me out. I will not pet it. I, I love frogs. That is not a frog. Not a gribbly face squid dog. Although, oh, what was the cat from Captain Marvel called? I've forgotten. That was a cute cat. Oh, it's this bit. I watched a lot of YouTube series based on Half-Life, and I really enjoyed them. Uh, obviously, there's uh, Wayne Radio TV's Half-Life, the AI is self-aware. But also before that, I watched and eagerly awaited every episode of Freeman's Mind. I never actually finished it. I don't remember where he got to. I think he got this far. Oh, look at that, that is vile. I'm probably going to fall right in it. Not quite. Oh, nearly. Beep, 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 beep. Wow, a rotary dialer. I didn't even know what that would be on a machine like this. A machine, a thingy like this. Okay. Ugh. Oh no. Oh, my. Okay, down. No. Oh, that looks like a nasty thing. <laughs> I'm sensing a theme. Sorry. TF stuff. Ooh. Hot soup. I'm going to pass the mincy thing. Watch your step. Hmm. Oi. After all that. Ha. <laughs> 
Simbel and Orion are very, very precious characters of mine. And I enjoy them immensely. I'm glad you do too. That makes me happy. This is very disorientating. Okay, so I came in that way. Now I have to go this way. Oh no. What was that? Oh, don't eat me. Woo! Oh wow, lots of people. Hi, I'm doing good. Well, I'm exhausted um, from work because it was a very long day. Um, very fast paced day. Oh no, my oxygen. Um, yeah, very fast paced day, just lots of stuff to do. And I slammed a drill bit into my hand and cut my thumb open a little bit. So um, it was long. I am. Now, the... Did I get it? Only person in my warehouse, seeing that my supervisor suddenly quit last week. Which is frustrating, but it's not... It's been kind of better than I thought it was going to be, but, you know, this is one of those things when someone quits and you have to deal with all the stuff yourself. But actually, I have the um, the two guys, um, technicians are really cool. They've been helping me out a lot. So it's not like I'm truly by myself, but there's some stuff that only I can do. Which gets very tiring. And yeah, I was trying to rush things today and just was a little too forceful with the drill. And took some skin off my thumb. It'll be okay. It's bruised. That's what hurts more than anything else. It's just the waiting for the bruise to, to go away. I hope that's soon. Because you forget how much you, you touch when your digits get hurt. Um, like just every little thing you like thumb or finger or something like that, you know, it's just like, oh yeah, I use these much more than I realized. That's not nice. I could have done with one of those at work. I have no idea what I'm turning on and off. I haven't really been paying attention. That's the other door. Okay. Oh, breaking breaking nails is horrific. I once uh, my toenail once snapped in half when I ran into someone. That is one of the most painful things I've ever experienced, and I would not wish it on anyone because it was horrible. To be fair, nail beds are really really sensitive. You can see why they would um, pull nails as a torture. Can I jump in there? Can I jump in there? No way. It's far too high. Uh, I lost a thumbnail once when I um, got hit by a sword in my thumb. It went all black and then fell off. It was really weird watching it grow back because the first bit was kind of... It starts off very round and bulbous, like, oh, am I going to have a spherical nail now? Um... And then it kind of flattens out. But that first bit is just bizarre. Uh, am I going the right way? Oh, okay. Oh, geez, yeah. Having the nail come right off. Oh, oh I didn't even want to think about it. That's just... Uh. And the thing is, you can't really do anything about it. <laughs> Yeah, it was... I, I had a lot of fun sort of fighting, but I got a lot of minor injuries, and, and I gave them back in, um... To be fair, I almost chopped this guy's nose off because he lent into an attack that I was making. Um, 
I felt so so bad it bled a lot because noses do that um, mine does even without provocation but then he had a great big sword go through it um, it's actually when you go through something like that it's kind of uh, the visceral feeling of hitting something with a weapon is it's not oh kind of like that um, yeah, there's something very visceral about hitting something with, um, oh, with something, knowing, that, and not meaning to, I guess, but it's kind of a chilling sensation that you never really forget. What else has happened? Um, I hit myself. I hit myself in the face with a great sword. That's one of those ones that is, um about uh, six feet long. Uh, unfortunately with mine, it wasn't even the business end of it. It was the cross guard and I took it too close to my body while I was swinging it round in front of me and the corner of it clipped my cartilage in my nose. And um, yeah, I wasn't happy. It actually left a square dent in my nose for a couple of weeks. You can feel it, a little corner indented in my nose. It grew out though. Thankfully, cartilage is soft and kind of forgiving in that sense. Where am I going? Oh, okay. I have to go back on that platform. Rolling a zero just makes me think of the infinity sided dice from Gravity Falls, which I just finished watching. Very good. Oh, wow, they're giving you much more incentive to get off these with the bladey rollers. But not like roller blades. Where am I going now? Uh, let's say off there. Woo! No monsters. Wait, Weird Al was in that? Who was he? He was the wizard. Wow. I had no idea. Touch wood, I have not been in a car accident. They sound... I have almost been in a car accident um, when I had to do an emergency stop on a highway. Um, but yeah, I'm very thankful to have not been in one. That sounds really, really painful. Um, I've also not really properly played American football because I was banned from... Well, not banned, but was uh, warded off doing any contact sports for a long time because of my leg in high school. Oh, geez, yeah. Front and back, that's oh, that's some really, like, incredibly nasty whiplash. I have intermittent neck pain just from general stuff, so imagine an injury must be even more... Um, yeah, that's the weird thing about muscle pain, is it doesn't actually happen straight away necessarily, but uh, can sometimes manifest like up to 24 hours after, which is always bizarre to me, but it's how the body works. Like if I pulled a muscle um, in my stomach, it's normally the next day I realise, yeah, I really did, I didn't get away with it. Um, adrenaline, yeah, fight or flight, um, really pushes our body to kind of extremes of endurance, maybe, or like just um, keeps you from sensing things until you're in a situation where you're not having to kind of 
preserve your life. Oh, I don't like this. There's so much going on. Oh, thank goodness for the water. Alright, time to get back up again. Oh. Wow, you kept them off with a drill. That's impressive. Or maybe you were making a cosplay out of them. I had a bizarre dream where I was making a cosplay out of two belts I was trying to tie around my waist. Oh yeah, some sports will do that to you. Um, when I did a uh, historical reenactment, even if I didn't get bruises, sometimes just the sheer weight of everything would just make my body ache. My upper body, my legs, just everything. Because it was full contact, full body activity, and it just keeps on going. Football is football is intense stuff. Yeah, it's kind of insidious how they cover up so much of what players go through. I really wanted to watch the documentary about concussions, but I have not yet. Um, but they really punish their bodies so much for... Oh. Yeah, they punish them in some really horrific ways. Eh. You know what? I'm going to make use of the game's mechanics. Oops. Oh, uh, I meant to do a quick save. Never mind. I lost my keys. Okay. Whee! Oh, I'm all the way back here again. I think it's cool. And I just have this image of your little mouse sona like completely bodying someone now. Oh. Oh. Okay, telegram. Let's see. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. You know what? I think I have your sticker pack, and I didn't even that didn't even connect with me before. That's very cool. I'm gonna be roasted. <laughs> Really don't want to have to go through this bit again. Whoa. That sounds very No. Oh. That sounds really bad. Is that just the nature of the game? I did. I'm all wet now. Jeez, yeah. I'm not... I was fairly short in high school. I felt like I was very short in high school. There were some people who were shorter than me, but... Um, there were people who were a lot bigger than me, and be because we were an all-boys school that focused on sports, um, obviously a lot of the big guys were on the rugby team and the rugby team was the pride of the school so for me being a short um, drama focused boy at the time it was not fun times for me I did not enjoy sports 
I wanted to do the javelin. We only got to do that once ever. I always thought that was super cool. I wanted to do be like the school javelin thrower. Never came to pass. So I was the school kind of fading in with everyone else for a long time. Yeah, rugby you don't get any protection. There are a couple of ways that they do rugby a little differently that kind of help mitigate some of the damage. But uh, overall, I feel like some of the injuries they get are even worse. Uh, I remember hearing some stories of some of the professional leagues where they get uh, cleats to places that should not be put and them just pretty much stapling it together on the field and finishing the game and dealing with it afterwards. I'm like, I can't do that. All right, let's try this. Okay, I don't even have to crouch. Okay. Supposedly. You liar! You lied. I lied to myself. All right, sorry. There's going to be a lot of this repetitive bit. Hopefully I remember where it all is now. Oh, wow. I didn't like basketball either. Well, we didn't really play basketball as such in England. We called it. We had netball, which is different. I like rounders, though. That was kind of our version of baseball. I really liked cricket, too. Cricket is insidiously boring to play, to watch, I mean, but to play, it was super cool. I don't know why that is. <laughs> yeah. I think it's cute, though. I like that people, their personas can be who they want to be. <laughs> it's the same with snooker like, or pool. Like Lots of people play pool, but to watch it is just deadly. I can't do it. Is there a door down here I can open or something like that? There'll be a shortcut. Nope, that's where I got the thingy from. I think people go crazy over these sports. Like, I hear a lot of people not even enjoy watching baseball, but they go crazy for their teams. Um, and I just can't... The atmosphere of being at a game, I'm sure, is very different to watching it on TV, but I just... There's so much about sports and the whole culture of sports that is absolutely 100% not for me. No, don't fall... Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was odd. <sighs> so ready to not have these impromptu and very aggressive baths anymore. All right. I want to get past this bit at least tonight. <sighs> yeah. I think I'm just taking it too fast. I am not a pro gamer. And it's been overall a long time since I last played an FPS. Still trying to get the hang of where the shift and crouch keys are. Yeah, that's what I figured, because if you're like, if you're going to an event and you're like able to watch something live, you've got, you know, you've got the energy of the crowd that's right there and, you know, you've just got, it's kind of an outing as well. You know, there's a, there's a sense of making it more than just a thing, I guess, that, you know. Yeah. Oh, oh, God, no. Oh. I'm toasty now. Food, stadium food. <laughs> I've been to State Fair once here, and admittedly, that was some very, very good food. Um, hang on, I may go quiet for a second while I try and focus on this. Why am I moving around so much? Come on, please, please. <sighs> 
Can I just fly up there? It's such a long way up. See, hockey to me is... I... I guess in America you'd call it field hockey. You play hockey on the grass. And I liked it until someone tripped me up and I broke my arm. He was a dick, though. Nobody liked him in school, but he, the fact that he went and tripped me because I actually, well, for once, made a successful tackle with my hockey stick. And yeah, he tripped me. And I got a fracture in my arm. My left arm, I think. Was it my right? I've broken four bones in my body, and one of my arms was one of them. I think it was actually my left arm. Uh, my right arm, because I broke my left leg, too. Ooh, Zalno, hi. Nyeh. Come and watch me fall over and over again into the water. I'm getting very well acquainted with this bit of the game. Field hockey, I mean, because hockey over here means, like, ice hockey, right? Is that right? I could be wrong. Maybe I'm overthinking it. But we used to play on this. My school had a big field of AstroTurf. And it was horrible. It would graze your knees up so badly if you fell on it. Oh, f Yeah. So I never played ice hockey, and I'm glad, because I probably would have broken my leg all over again. I need to put a counter. That's what, six times now? Six? I'm so dumb. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for stopping by. It was really cool to see you. Thank you. I hope it is a good walk and good dinner. <laughs> this is not the best part of Black Mesa to be showcasing. This is like um, probably about halfway through the game and it's kind of a first person platformy bit. Which, as you can see, I'm not very good at. There's a lot more sci-fi, action, suspense, atmospheric nature of it later. Um, I would recommend those bits. Oh, oh no, now. <laughs> what did it take that long? just need to jump properly that's what I need okay all right maybe if I can thing is I don't think I can even jump on that oh it really does hurt you okay no wonder they don't like it. ah no now there needs to be another one If there's trip mines around this corner, I'm going to scream. Where, where, what's going on now? Oh, oh no. Okay. Ah. Okay. Oh, all right. Just in case I do something really, really dumb. Cool. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm even more crunchy on the outside now. Crispy crunchy. Hmm. This is... Surely we were just getting away from all the toxic waste, now you're just processing it into more toxic waste. It can make no sense. Eh. Ooh. 
yes, I am a I'm a hot, wet pangolin fox now. Enjoy that statement as you would. Oh, don't crash. At least I saved if it did. Oh no, okay. I thought you were dead. Switch or something. Nope. Notice. Aha, uh -huh. very good. Is it vent time? I sometimes have to climb across uh, pallet racks at work. I shouldn't, but where do I go? Fire protection water. feeling I'm about to go sparky sparky boom boom Not a fun avatar but oh all right that was simpler than I expected Don't enjoy that aggressive method of charging my suit. Oop. I am denied. Audio spatial biochem bio electrics. Nope. It doesn't like my eyes. Oh, there we go. Questionable ethics. Well, I will leave it there for now because it's only going to be a short stream tonight. But. Ooh, hello. Ooh. Wow, you're not looking super happy. I'm going to leave you there. Yeah, me too. I did not like this bit in Half Life. That's why I think I may tackle it <laughs> at an afternoon on Sunday when I don't have to go immediately to bed because Black Mesa has made things, everything, infinitely more creepy and, uh, oh, it's just, bleh. I sometimes can horror myself into nightmares even with fairly mild stuff, so I'm not going to hug him. You may want a hug, but it's not going to be from me. I have someone else do that. Gas, fire control, electric. Oh, you can press it. <gasps> oh no, I didn't mean to do that. 
Whoops. Uh. Sorry. Uh, I don't know what to say. Um, oh well, I guess I don't have to worry so much about that bit that I was scared of before. But I will still probably leave it there and continue on with this adventure on Sunday. Well, thank you for everyone for joining me and watching me dunk myself over and over again into uh the water the horrible residue processing water we shall mourn green lumpy gas thing um and hopefully well no i would say make it up to him next time but we're probably about to kill a whole lot more of those so yeah anyway thanks so much i will catch you on sunday or whenever uh, stinky very much so yes i will catch you all soon Thank you very much. Have a good night.